Google Works, Facebook. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, kiddos. Tinker with Sue back again today for the re-emergence, the debut of season two of the new Sue Review with Accidental Agnes 2. Hi, everybody. Hi. All right, so we are trying even more new technical ways to glitch and mess everything up. So, Agnes, are we live on the Tanglewood Works page? Yes, we are. And you can hear us and everything? Uh -huh. Rock on. Okay, are we live on the Crazy Ass Craft Club YouTube page? That I don't know yet. But yeah, I don't know yet. That's what we're trying yet. for. That you know, is what we're trying for. We're always experimenting for something. We're craft experimenting and we're regular experimenting. I think because um, Brooke is here. Yay! Forgive me for pulling up different things here. I don't think it's looking good as far as um, YouTube. That's okay. Oh, we will well. figure that out. We'll figure that out another day because Brooke is here. We're not going to stop. Um, oh, look. All right. We are getting comments. Ooh, ooh. So for those of you who may not know, uh, well, first of all, Tanglewood Sue here. Accidental, Accidental Agnes. Um, we are still working out the time when we're going to do this new Sue review. Right, right. It's my schedule, my day job. She has a day job. Yeah, yeah. So we're still trying to figure it out because we know you guys like it when we play and mess up. And spill things and all that good stuff. So, we are, what are we doing over here? What is this craziness? All right, so if you guys didn't see me at about an hour or so ago on Debbie's Design Diary page, I go on every other Thursday at 3 with What Can't This Paint Do? Where we are experimenting with chalk and clay based paint. Mm -hmm. Seeing all the things that it can do. So, I'm going to tell you guys and Agnes what we did and what we're going to keep doing. Okay. Can you even... All right, so let's, let's let them see. Can you even guess what's happening here, Agnes? I mean, just... Can you even venture? It almost looks like you're doing a seasonal thing, like you know, maybe spring, possibly summer or autumn over here. I don't know if you have other seasons planned. That's my interpretation. That could work. That could work. All right, you see this little guy? Yeah. Uh -huh. So, can you guess what's happening there? It looks like a reverse stencil. She's so good. All right. Here's the deal. This piece has a huge hutch that goes on top. And I want it to be my new DIY paint display oh. in the store. Because look at all the storage. I mean, like, good grief. It's got a ton. It's got the drawers. It's got the cabinets. It's got drawers down there. And the top, I mean, this thing is over six feet wide and then has a ton of display area. And it's over six feet tall with yeah. the two pieces combined. It's insane. It's a machine. That's the kind of piece I need. Yeah. So I want a way to mm -hmm. display the colors in the store. Mm-hmm. Uh, make it fanciful, but I don't want it to compete either. Like, I think in Debbie's store, she did a little tour, and she had a piece that had all, all the colors blended together, and it was really beautiful. But I I just have this vision of my head where it's mostly dark, with bright colors popping through, and then bright colors on the top because the cans are black. Okay. Yeah, careful, the lid's not on. All right, so the cans are black. So I'm imagining a bright color behind, but on the bottom, something that brings it together. So here's what I was thinking. Little speckles of color. And this is where I got the Monet. I wasn't trying. I was just playing. And actually, what I'm thinking today is that you, we don't have to do it this way. Right. Okay, it doesn't have to be, that's why we want Agnes here to play. I'm going to keep playing with mine, and I want you to play over here. But the idea is I'm going to take some form of stencil and do a reverse stencil, yes, on top of it, blacking out the back and then leaving the image forward. 
Okay. So hand me your stencil over there, my dear. So it wouldn't work. Let me explain the concept. It wouldn't work to just take this now and stencil over the top. That would be a cool idea, but the idea is actually, and one of the gals on Debbie's page suggested what would work is to paint, and I don't know if it would work, but the idea would be to paint this black and then press it. Huh. I think the chances of that turning out right are zero to zero point zero one. <laughs> Not because it's not the right idea. It's exactly the right idea. Uh -huh. But it will shift. So what I did is I found um, a design online that's just a black and white image of vines and birds and flowers. And I think what I want to do is print that out and use carbon paper. Okay. Now, this is why we're only doing it on these four panels, because I don't have time to do this whole piece. Carbon paper, and then we'll paint around the outside. Okay. She's thinking it over. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's what I do. Because No, exactly. Except that we're live. <laughs> I know. They can't I always get on our face. I always get on our face like, camera's rolling, Agnes! Um, so if you guys, uh, Barbara, Gabriel, Gabriel, hey, um, if you guys have another idea of how this would work, but I kind of want it boho. I kind of want flowers. I like the idea of birds. I've never done birds. I don't mind hand painting okay. around a drawing, but I can't think of any other way to do it because a stencil won't work. And then the only other thing I thought I could do was to take a resist layer and paint the design that I like with uh, wax or big top, something that would resist paint. Okay. Vaseline. And then paint it all a dark color and then wipe it all back. Here's why I'm, no. I think we could test it. Okay. But I'm dubious that it would wipe all the way back. Would that necessarily be a problem? I mean, if, it, if it's something that's like a, a polycrylic or a big top or whatever, then I would think that you could wipe it all back without too much of a problem. Wax or some other type of resist wouldn't be as successful. Right. So we're going to paint this right now, right here, and show you what we're doing. But I think before we attack it, we should do it on a, are you watching a YouTube video right now? <laughs> I, was, I was like, I was looking down at my phone. I go, what in the world? <laughs> Did I press something? <laughs> all right. So what I started doing, all right. So the, the basis of this, uh, the folks who watched this before, you, you, you know what we're talking about, but is that we need a small pattern. Okay. Okay. Because if you paint too big right here, like this is the size. So let's bring this a little closer for our guests to see here. Um, I didn't set up two cameras today because I figured we had enough tech. We had enough chances for technological glitches today here. I thought we'd make it a little bit simpler. Um, all right. How's that on the screen? Can you see that? Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Great. All right, so let me, I'll move my chair away and I'll show you if we're going to do, if we're going to do, and y'all can laugh because basically I've got my shirt on backwards. See how low that is? Because when I have it this way, every time I bend over, I'm on the Um, so I put the Okay, so basically, let's see, let's see if we can get even noisier. Play with this one. So if we're doing a flower and a bird and we want it to come through with all these model tones. Now one person had suggested, why not just stencil it and then paint within that? And I, yeah, but I guess this way, I just really want it to be completely random and then see what happened. Okay. Instead of going the other way. So what I was doing is just taking a smaller brush and I just started doing this with all of the same tones. So this one was just warm tones. And I'm just layering and layering and layering and layering. What do you think? 
Well, that's that's probably the technique he used. Monet. Yeah. Oh, uh, yes. And everybody yes, yes. was comparing your work to. Oh, yes, over here. Just a little little. Like, but I mean, it could be it could be totally different. I mean, it could just be dots. Right. It could be um so so if we're all right, so we have to make some decisions. So did each one of these be different? I I I think they could be, but you've got two similar styles there. If they were if those two were different from each other, then it would probably be okay to have the other two be different. Be different as well. But since you started off with something similar, then we probably should continue that. Wait, do you mean a similar uh, brush stroke? Yeah. Uh, here's what I would say. We can go over this one. Mm -hmm. I would say, Agnes, they want to see you, darling. You, you do, you do you. Okay. You do you right there. Okay. Wait. You do you. I. I know what I like to do when I. Mixed colors like that, but um, so yes, you if you do you right there, different. and I'll do me right here, and I can always go over this one. Okay. Which or which brush do you want? In which colors? That's a good question. You've got a whole bucket full of brushes over there. Yes. Well, my only suggestion is that you will want a smaller brush. Right. Um, but here, here, look through here, and. I will keep playing with this one because Agnes is right so we have a style here and a style here so if Agnes does a style here oh you know what what I was gonna say I could move this drawer over there hey Georgia the door. I, I could actually I could flip the doors yes you could but then that'll be that won't solve anything it's okay. All right, so Agnes is going to pick her vision here of what she wants to play with. That's and white. I'm, that's white. Here's okay. your plate. So tell me what you want to do. And I'm going to play around with this to, to counterbalance that. Can I use some of this up here too, huh? Yes. <laughs> yep. Yeah, all right. I've always wanted to use the petticoat pink. So I'm gonna it up a little bit. Because I'm not convinced. Even though I'm not really a pink person. That I that we shouldn't mix up all the colors in each one. Because I mean I like these, but I I'm I I'm, I'm gonna put a little bit of green here and just see what happens. <laughs> And you guys, please, um, especially replay viewers, we know we kind of came on um, at a funky time. <laughs> it's it's not accidental, Agnes, without, you know, a mess. I forget to put down your baby. It's all... <laughs> I just stirred it up. Here. Well, I don't, I don't know. It may be getting Here. a little old because it's... Um, it is old. It is old, it's, actually. It just keeps separating. Okay. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put some green in here. I don't know why. I'm just gonna do it. But feel free to direct us if there's something you want to see, kids. I'm curious to see what Agnes is gonna do to come up with a different. I'm gonna experiment here with different things too. Um, that uh, mermaid tail, purple one. Here you go. Because really, it's all we need right now. Oh, where's my other little touch? Here we go. Uh -huh. All we need, all we need right now, is randomness that can then be um, reverse stenciled. So I'm gonna try. Just while we're playing, I'm gonna try different ways of layering this color as well. Clumpy clump. Okay. 
you could definitely kind of go this way mushes it more I think you know what I mean mm -hmm. I mean I like that too Curious to see where Miss Agnes is going with this. So am I. <laughs> I was just noticing, at least from my perspective, that this door panel has a little bit of a Moroccan vibe to it. Now, I know I'm not using Moroccan colors yet. <laughs> yet. All right, so just keep in mind, they're all going to have the same bird pattern. Right. Right, okay. I, I don't want to, um, I want to keep this pretty much neutral. It's the details around the, that I want to emphasize. Okay. Hold on, Agnes. I'm going to have to stop you. I'm going to have to stop you. Because what I want to do is get a pattern of color okay. in here for the reverse stencil. Okay, that's fine. Oh, okay. I, I all understand right. what you're saying. I just oh, okay. Don't this is just going to be black. Okay. That's all going to be. So basically, what's going to happen is, or actually, I was thinking boho blue. Uh, is boho blue, and then there might be one color in here, but basically, it's all going to be the dark color until um, the pop out of the flowers. Sometimes I don't explain things well, so I just want to make sure I explain it. And what I'm doing here is I have this way of getting all the modeled colors, and I'm experimenting with what if I didn't use a brush and I just used the spatula to get the modeled colors. And I like this effect a lot, but it's, um, I want more variation in color to pop through with the birds and the flowers, so. Let's see. I'm gonna go over. But it might work. Oh, I like this pink over the over the boho blue. Sometimes when you're doing this, it's just like fun to just play with the colors and see what ends up where. Um, different ways of putting the color on. I've done a few pieces with just this. So what other creative things you've been up to, Agnes? It's been a while. I've been getting lots of ideas, but I haven't touched and have, haven't tried implementing anything yet. So what do you do when you have a creative idea? Like I try to write it down. Do you? That's really cool. I'm not so good with that. Um, but I'm, I'm, I, I started a notes... Um, I guess because I usually start it along with 27 other projects at once, which is not any better. Um, but I have been trying to be better about at least writing it down. So I started some notes, but mostly I do that like with ideas for videos. Oh, that's a good idea. Um, so what I'm wondering is, yeah, as the, if, if I do the bird here popping through, wanted to see how that would turn out. It's mostly just figuring out what the under layer is going to be and what'll what'll show through the best. I'm a little bit worried about how much texture we're doing because that will that won't be hidden necessarily. Right. It'll be under a darker tone, but it won't be it won't disappear. Now I kind of like I kind of like a color underneath so I have the boho here and then I've done these over the top that's kind of fun I think what I could do as well is get these colors on Agnes and then maybe sand it back a little yeah Let's so smooth it out. yeah so basically 
I'll show you guys kind of what I'm thinking will be the outline. I still have a, I'm still going to keep going over this, so I'm not going to worry about messing it up. But, um, actually, I wonder if I could do it with water. Let's see. I wet my brush, if you guys can see that. So, oh yeah. All right, can you see that a little bit there? So if the flower, we're here, and then that would show, right? And I might even do this kind of freehand. everything all start. So I can kind of see the gradation I'm getting within each of these. And I like it. But I'm not sure I'm not sure which one I like. You guys I want you to vote. I want you to vote on what showing through kind of the Monet or do more of the graffiti. Now Agnes let me ask you this. If I paint this here, that I'm painting with water, so do you think there's something I could put on this to keep it so that everything else would just wipe right off of it? That's what I'm going for. So everywhere I'm painting would stay. That looks like a penis. Um, not a good one. Yeah, definitely not a good one. <laughs> I was trying to do an upside down buttercup. Oh my gosh. I've been watching too much Game of Thrones. I'm in the final season. Don't say anything. The final season was awesome. I know. And Brian wants to, like, watch two a night. And I'm like, no, we have to savor it. We have to savor it. And then my son and I were watching um, Saturday Night Live last night from a few months ago. And we just knew there was going to be a spoiler, so we had to turn it off. Silence. <laughs> well, my only constructive criticism with love, now she's just mixing up all my paints. Now they're just, she's just, she's just double dipping. Is that, um, it's, that's not going to work. Right. Why is that day? Is this lonely? You know what? You know what I think, Agnes? What? I think that you just really needed some freeform paint play time. Yeah. You didn't follow my directions no, I at all. I you know when do. I read, I rarely do. I know, so. I know, but I thought this one time if I like said do it your way, just within this parameter, that it might have worked. I think I think Agnes just needed to play, and uh, she's going to work all day. And there's Dorian, and he's heading. <laughs> I have a hurricane to me, but yeah. all right. <laughs> Whatever I say. <laughs> Whatever you say, Agnes, I love you. I'm gonna paint right over that too. <laughs> Get your own dresser. I will. Okay. I have several. I know you do. You have a lot. Have you? We're gonna we're gonna clean out Agnes's. Uh, uh, what are we cleaning out? Well, we could probably cl clean out one of or both of my storage units. All right. So what are you gonna do with the furniture? 
Is it paintable stuff? I mean, yeah, it's, it's paintable stuff that I've bought over the past few years. Well, what with if you bring intention, with the intention of you know either painting them for myself or um, possibly selling them? All right, so I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try a different implement here to get more colors. I should have taken these off. You know what I'm digging though. I'm digging. I'm digging the yellow. I'm digging the. Not digging that. That's all messed up. Somewhere in here, we're getting a rich pink. Now, I know we have Kissing Booth, but it's definitely going more fuchsia against the boho. So I'm loving all the different colors we're getting here. For sure, I find this to be the best way to kind of experiment with um, what these will do anyway, as far as mixing goes. And you can scrape it off too. Well, that, that helps it get it smooth. All right, now we're talking, Ag. Now we're talking. Yeah, I'm just looking for Well, now it'll work with my, with my idea. Next time, I'm going to give you a little pad of paper. Probably unless you play, just, unless you just get out my first. coloring pencils and I, don't, I think I have watercolor pencils too. This is what can happen when you don't have enough play time. Yeah, you know I have to. I do so much analytical work in my day job. Yeah, it's hard for me to switch gears when I do that five days a week. That's why I'm here for you, Agnes. Thank God. That's why we're all here for each other. Create. You gotta get these creative, and you do have to play. All right. So what I'm doing, I'm like scraping it off and putting it back on again. This is fun. I wish y'all were here. All right. I'm gonna pull them in a little closer so they can see the um, the textures that are happening. And we're gonna go to the farmers market. Yeah. Yeah, I've always wanted to go to that farmer's it's market. A good I just figure if they have it on Thursday nights, and that's the day that I'm in the office, the rest of the week I work it from my house. I, ha I can telework and do this. But, um, so when I get a new puppy, that'll help whenever that is. I can't feel my feet. But. Yeah, we might have to do something about it. Well, I know I have to. I mean, I look at myself in this camera and I'm going, man, I have gained weight. Seriously. Oh, no. This is and the I'm most not, unflattering I'm, camera. And I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not happy with it. Like, no, 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 no. No. Do not take this camera seriously. Um, I used to work at this farmer's market. When I first got to town, I went up to Jim Coleman, who runs the market, and I said, I want to meet some people. And I asked him if I could have a job at the market. Yeah, and he said, said yes. And um, come on down. Come on down. And so I worked the booth where I um, uh, worked the snap booth. Um, so I would help everybody turn in their um, their snap vouchers. Okay. Uh, into um, little tokens, and um, of course. Within a few weeks, I'm redesigning all the signage, and then I don't like redid the sign. Then I made a sandwich board. The sandwich board is still there, and then I helped them through the winter and then designed all the little signs. So basically, I took on the marketing of the entire market uh, because yeah, I can't, because I can't be helped. Okay, all right, Agnes. All right, you guys. So here's what you're gonna have to vote on. Which style do we need to replicate 
for the design that we're going for. Okay, so if we are going to black out most of it and have some pop through, do we like the layered graffiti? Okay, so here, I'll do this again so you guys can see. Right. So it would basically go like that. So do we like it totally, totally random behind it? So, have you been, followed anybody good this week? Anybody do anything wonderfully creative? That's an option. I, um, I went ahead and shared a piece that Apple Blossom Way did where she combined stenciling, IOD transfers, some salt wash texture and the piece to me well one it was in one of the major colors was my favorite which is red and she had an ombre effect in the background from white to black with the red flowers the red flower transfers over it and cool. and then if you look closely in the in the right light you saw that there was texture on the black and the white paint. So she did some sort, I, that might have been where she did the stenciling and uh, with a raised stencil. Okay. And um, so I like the fact that she used all these techniques and brought them well, all I'm together. I'm going to have to check that out. Okay. So can you kind of see what I'm, I'm just assuming I'm going to go over this. So I'm not worrying about it. But you can kind of see. So I think, I don't know. I can't tell if I like the drippy or not. I mean, it's not drippy. Oh, that was drippy. I think I have to stand back and look at it. What do you think, Agnes? Do what you gotta do. That's why I'm trying to lean back and take a look at what I'm doing. Yeah, I gotta step back and see. I will actually use a stencil for this to draw. I just, before I spend all that time, yeah, get an idea of what. Okay. Let's go back. And I'm in my shop and I'm like, yeah, I want to give me some Debbie's DIY paint today. That's the worst flower I've ever seen. I mean, it makes no sense. It's terrible, no, but no. I like the look. Right. I like, this is too messy. It's too messy. What do you guys think? What are we, what are we doing? Andy, yeah, what are we doing? I don't know what we're doing. We are experimenting. We're putzing. Putzing around. Um, switch back. All right. Let me recap for some people who've just joined us. We are playing around with these panels. This is the overall idea we're going to do, except it'll be much better, better uh, 
implemented. Um, but the idea is to create a background of color and then we're going to draw a black and white kind of inverse on top and let those color pieces come through. I can't say it well. A reverse imprint stencil, basically. Um, so what I've decided to do is I found a cool boho pattern. It's got a bunch of flowers and vines <coughs> and uh, even a bird. And I'm going to draw it on there and then paint black. Or actually, I'm thinking boho. Um, and then let the under layer come through. All right. So I just screwed this whole thing up, just testing it. But I really wanted to see if I like this. And so my, I had an underlayer of kind of a graffiti look, and then I had an underlayer of all these little dots that I did, like this Monet over here. Now I'm calling it a Monet. And Agnes is, um, Agnes is drawing a hurricane. Actually, I was thinking that could actually be a nest. And you can have a little bird. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I said, I'm just putzing around. <laughs> so that's what we're doing today. So um, I'm creating mud. She's 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 <laughs> mixing up all my colors. I'm creating all of them. All right. So you guys, you guys get votes. Uh, my vote right now is to do this effect with all the colors. Okay. So instead of it just being the blues here and the pinks here. I I think what I want to do is is add it all in. So each each panel will have all the colors. And it'll be it'll be kind of rainbow. It'll be kind of rainbow. And then I'll put the black over that. That's that's my vote, but I'm I'm open. I'm open to your vote. It doesn't mean I'll take it. No, but um, I'm totally open to your vote. So I'm just gonna go back over all this stuff that I did and make that multicolored and make that multicolored. I'm sorry, Agnes. Why don't you take a piece of paper and see if you can imprint that onto paper? Since you didn't follow the directions at all, but you've had fun making a hurricane <laughs> nest. Right. It's Dorian. It's, it's Dorian. <laughs> Where is his face? Where did that work? Here you go. Hey, don't scratch it now. Just smooth it out with some more. Yeah, that's smoothing it. No, you can smooth it out with the sand. With the sand block that you have right up there. On the oh, table. okay. Okay. Yeah. All right, Agnes, let's sing them out. <clears throat> Is it time for that already? It's time for that already. It's going to be gorgeous. I'm going to take Agnes to the market now. I'm going to get her a drink. <laughs> Some apple cider. Let's go get Sadie. All right. Hey, you guys, thanks for coming back. Look at that flower. It's just stupid. Well, at least you have a design, dear. <laughs> no, actually, no, I'm looking at it now with all the different colors. It's going to be great. Y'all don't trust us, but we do. It's all going to be good. Don't look at that screen. Look at that screen. That's the camera. Okay. <laughs> we we got to get our groove back. I'm glad you're here. Not that I, not that I condone gun violence, but <laughs> no, no, that was imaginary. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah, if I had a water gun, <laughs> actually, I've been thinking about t-shirt designs, you know, and I had one that was like, um, holster your glue gun. Oh, I know, but I don't. I just it's too bad they don't they don't come with the little with the little loopy thing so that you can you know, do like the they did back in the old west. Oh, right. They like spin the, their guns. <laughs> well, I could have mine, like, with the little glue stick now. They have, like, the, the glue, the never-ending glue stick. So, I mean, it could be, like, the, the glue. But then I was like, there's just no way to try to get around political correctness of that. Yeah. So I was like, but wouldn't that have been funny? Like, I was, it was something to do with glitter and glue guns. 
Oh. By quick draw. Okay. Put down your glue guns and nobody gets hurt. Nobody gets burnt. <gasps> That'd be funny. <laughs> maybe we should do two lives in a day. Or maybe we should do three. All right. Ready? Come on over here, my darling. <clears throat> it's the new Sue Review. Coming right at you. With Tanglewood Sue. Accidental Agnes Sue. Bye, everybody. Keep Bye. creating. Mwah. Mm-hmm. <laughs>